Okay, so I really uh, want to apologize. Uh, the video ended quickly because the the data in my phone was too full and it shut me down. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to do a part two. So, bear with me here. So, there's the finished product of the cookies. They turned out just a little bit harder than I wanted to. So, I guess I should have went seven minutes. Um, I thought with half a cup of butter, uh, can of oil in them, that they would stay a little softer, a little mushier, but um, I just cooked them a little longer, but that's no bother. They'll be good dipping in milk. So, it turns out that instead of um, two dozen cookies, because of the measurements, um, with the half teaspoon, turned out I made over 40 cookies. So, they're not large cookies, as you can see. They're just like bite size, I guess, a couple bites each. So, um, what I did was with my can of oil, I made uh, 500 milliliters of coconut oil to 6 ounces of uh, smokable shake. I use shake, I don't use bud. Um, I can't afford to buy bud and use 6 ounces of bud in 2 cups um, or 500 milliliters of coconut oil. So, within my budget, I, I used 6 ounces of smokable shake. Per 500 milliliters of coconut oil and it turned out to make two cups of can oil once it was all said and done so I used half a cup of my can oil which I would say it's um, medium to strong strength depending on your tolerance um, myself I eat a couple of these and I'm good and I smoke and I eat um, cannabis edibles I smoke out of my bong, just the flour by itself, and concentrate. So, uh, in a day, I probably have a couple of cookies. I usually have the cookies at night um, because they help me sleep. So, it's definitely um, gives you a little bit of a, a light, lifted feeling, relaxation, but then it pull, pulls you into the couch. So, I would say it's definitely um, a hybrid sativa indica, but more dominant being indica. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And there's your cookies, Mace. Huggies, my friend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay true and stay unique.